that was my man. That was that was my brother. That wasn't my own boy. That was my brother. We had you know what probably thirty years straight up game bang. <laughs> Even though he got locked up a lot, a lot, <laughs> but a whole lot. You know, we spent a lot of, a lot of time together, man. A lot of personal time together, sleeping in shacks. Even though we had buying nice houses to go home to, sleeping in shacks together from, you know, man, jumping out, you know, banging together. You know, we don't did it all together. We don't walk through the village together. Mm -hmm. I don't stood on 115, lurking. Yeah. Nobody was there, but I was lurking. I don't, you know, we don't did all that together. So it's a lot of memories with that dude, man. Real, I mean, he was a true Inglewood Hall of Famer. Let me ask you this question, because I got a lot of people that say he was a bully. And that's See, not true. That's not true, huh? No. He wasn't no if bully. If you got out of line, he would conveniently invite you to the streets immediately. Like, if, See, he, it's crazy, man. I'm telling you, man, he was on the phone like every day before he died. Mm -hmm. And he it, even explained to me some of his crazy, what most people present to be crazy. He was like, dog, see, I've been penitentiary raised. So I was like, no, I've been to the pen too, nigga, you know what? He was like, nah, homie. He really did grow up in jail all his life. Mm -hmm. So he was like, homie. You know what's the most important thing in jail? We all know this. If you you street though, you know what's the most important thing in jail? Respect. Mm -hmm. Once you lose that, it's over. So he like any disrespect from his girl, his kid, anybody. He didn't know how to deal with it as a regular human being on the streets. It was all penitentiary. If you lied to him, that's disrespect. You lying on my face. So he dealt with it with violence. If you, you know, any the littlest disrespect, he finna, hey, let's go outside and just, come on, I'm just go outside real quick. You know, it wasn't like, like, we're gonna talk about this. No, let's go outside in these streets real quick. He like, I tolerate, he had a zero tolerance for disrespect. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't gonna lie, he don't fought like most of the hood and half of them twice. And he wasn't taking no L's. I ain't. So why he, by him not taking no L's with with me? I only heard of maybe a couple. Slow down, though. Slow I, down, though. Slow down. Let me ask you this question. What? Now, so you saying he he wasn't he wasn't no bully type nigga. He would nah, get down yeah. with you though. Yeah. Okay. In a, in a heartbeat. If right. You got out of line. And he some some of the homies from the neighborhood he didn't got down with a couple times. Yeah, a couple. Would you say some of them cats was in fear of him? Did they fear him? I'm pretty sure it was some of them, but I can't tell you what's on him in the man's heart. But right, right. But you, if you, they got down with him, that mean they, they they had the heart to get down with him. But right. I don't, I can't say they fit. They, cause he loved the homies with right. all his heart. So they, I can't name a homie. Maybe one I did see. I know he definitely was scared of. Him. But other than that, most of the homies said it was like. But you knew. <laughs> They weren't scared of him, but they just knew he had hands. They knew he had hands. Yeah, so he's like, I ain't scared of him, but I know you probably go, yeah, I know this nigga probably gonna whoop me. <laughs> but I ain't gonna, they went over there acting like that. It, he might get off on them and it might turn into a squabble, but they wasn't just like, because he loved the homies. So right. they had the least to fear from him, you know what I mean? But yeah, oh, he'll give you a, he'll give you a fair fade in 2.5 seconds. Would you consider him as being a leader over there at that time when he was there? Uh, when I came, I, you know, I went out of town. I was doing my thing. He was out of town too, but he eventually came home. When I came back home, he definitely was the pillar of the community, of the hood. He mm -hmm. definitely was the they. They definitely was they breaking up to that little period. period. They knew they could call the big homie. He from the come through. Oh, anybody want fade? He with all that. Mm -hmm. He even told me like, hey, you should see me inside. And I'm like, you know, the, the homies love me because he still, you know. From my understanding, a lot of homies at our age at the time, they not with the business no more. So they letting the little homies turn up in the job, but he be still with the business. He still with the business. So they like, he like, man, the little homies. With the little homies. homies. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm pretty sure you, you a lot of y'all out there knew little B-Rap from Central Park. 
Cause y'all been locked up with him Cause he stayed locked up And y'all knew he was with all the business mm -hmm. To the day he, you know, passed He was with all the business But, yeah man, he definitely was a special kind, man You know, like I said, he wasn't perfect But he definitely, like I said, he loved his homeboys He loved his hood And he definitely, he definitely pushed that line You know what I mean? It, 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 he's a Hall of Famer. He, he's, you know, certain dudes is, you know, like that's a Hall of Famer. He definitely was that dude. You know what I mean? Like y'all knew it went. You know, yeah. ain't shit. Ain't too many dudes to put no pump no fear in his heart. Ain't no, I ain't, yeah, ain't nobody really pumping no fear in his heart. Maybe when he was younger, he might have hesitated. But shit, not a, not once he got full fledged. Like, yeah, what? You could be swole. He probably would have tried to fade Tyson. I ain't gonna lie. He probably would have tried it. He might have lost, but he probably would have tried. It's funny because you know you saying that, right? I wanted to get him in that in that uh, what's that uh, uh, the arena shit that they got going on. Oh uh, yeah. I want to get him in that. But right? see, that's I, we, different. Part. We talked about that a couple of times, right? He but definitely he, with the but, but he was with it. But he was like, man, I didn't. He's like, big homie, I didn't fuck my hands up. I broke these. Man, that dude bottles. knuckles was over here, yeah, over here, over yeah, here, over here. He said my shit is so fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if they even take me in this motherfucker. They probably won't even let me get in the ring. My shit all, you know what I'm saying? But there was some good times back then, but man, you know now I ain't gonna lie, homie. I see, you know, I'm a real Inglewood dude, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm from every Ingle. I feel like I'm from every Inglewood hood. Like if I see another Inglewood home. And you pressing on him, I'm like, homie, you just like you pressing on a homie. Right. Especially behind that wall, but period. If you mean with, uh, I just love my city, homie. It's only two cities in L.A. that dominate, you know what I'm saying, the bloods dominate. That's mm -hmm. Pasadena and Inglewood. We are fortress. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got internal issues, but at the end of the day, outside of internal issues, see, that's what motherfuckers get confused, too. They be like, oh, woo, 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 beef. Niggas be like, oh. But, nigga, outside of them issues, nigga, we pressed the line. That eye is that strong. Mm -hmm. and, but the thing is, I'm talking about the real eye. The, the, what is it, seven hoods? That are six seven, hoods. Seven. seven hoods. Seven original. Seven original hood, real estate. We ain't talking about people who just, you know, talking about they from the street and, and no real estate. No, we're talking about the real original seven hoods been there. You know what I'm saying? I love all of them. You know what I'm saying? I love the Inglewood homies. Rest in peace to, uh, what's his name? The homie, from, little homie from CPF. This is, oh, you well, know, past. Right, right, right. You know, that shit hurt my Indian heart. Red Indian Red Boy. Red Boy. Rest that shit hurt my heart sure, man. To, 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 to be a little homie, get... You know, knock down like that all on the lot, man. That's you know that was foul, but yeah. I mean, he come with this life, man. He, you know, he went the first. Probably ain't gonna be the last, unfortunately. But yeah, we don't lost. You know, it's a lot. You lose a lot of loved ones in this. this but that one right there, kind of really like wow. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. rest in peace to the little homie. You know what I mean? I hate it. Uh, you know, I hate it. It happened to him, man. That was called demo though. Oh, yeah, 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 man. I felt like it was like one of the little homies. I mean, I mean them Ingo Jingle niggas roll with a team, so it might sink. Niggas might wanna fall back, black. Your niggas on your blind side with they fist droop back. Smear that, or you gotta do it faster than that. Now you on the floor shaking, having an asthma attack. Now it's back to the swing game. Hoes on the scene, seem like they lick my dogs with they exposed pink things. The cock cams make the girls fall down. Take them way across town, and then them draws come down. I'm trying to experience the wall.